it doesn't really get any more primal than a cave camel. Lots of folks say they feel the draw of the sea. I know I do, and we are not the only creatures. Maybe it's the sound of the gentle lapping waves, or the impressive power of the ocean. Maybe it's the smell, or the fresh air. Nothing quite like filling the lungs with air, untouched, after breezing an endless distance across the ocean. No doubt we are a nation of islanders, and it is hard for us to imagine there are fully grown adults in the world who have probably never seen the sea. But here in the UK, we are never further than 70 miles from it. I can imagine our ancestors exploring our vast coast, feasting on the fruits of the sea. In fact, the cave here displays 1500 year old Pictish carvings on its walls probably teenagers, but it also held a darker secret, human bones, lots of them, including the 3000 year old remains of mummified children, but probably best I don't think about that. But if I was to be visited by a wee cave ghost of the past, I can't think of one less threatening than a child. I mean, they won't even have their bodies, as they only found their decapitated heads. Caution is needed when staying in a sea cave. It may be all warm and cosy in your sleeping bag when you arrive, but they do have the tendency to get a little bit watery at high tide, and nobody wants a soggy sack. This one shouldn't flood tonight, but it will be cut off at high tide. And don't worry, I don't get any spooky visitors, sorry if that's your bag, but I am honoured by a golden sunset and sunrise to remember, which, at this time of year, pretty much happens at the same time. a little bit different today because I'm on foot. I've just walked down to this uh, lovely network of caves. Uh, it's taken me about an hour to get here from my house. Uh, it's actually low tide at the moment, but when the tide does come in, I'll be cut off and it's going to make it really difficult to get back out of here. So I'm stuck here till the morning. Uh, it's actually getting on a little bit now. It's eight o'clock at night. Uh, sunset's not till quarter past 10 at the moment, so still quite a bit of daylight, but I need to get on and start cooking soon. Um, yeah, so stick around. Uh, hopefully we'll get a really nice sunset. Yeah, it should be a good one. Right, so tonight I'm cooking up some halloumi, 
I've um, got the idea from this little Jamie Oliver thing I pulled out the cupboard. It says on there, super tomato and olive quinoa, fantastic with halloumi. <laughs> so that's what giving the inspiration. But we've got an absolutely amazing, uh, gorgeous sunset going on right now. Does not look too bad at all, that. Perfect timing, just as the last little bit of sun just disappears. Right behind the hills and the cloud. And the moon's just come out as well. Gorgeous evening. Quite a lot of volume here. <laughs> Probably won't need it all. I'm sure Indy will help me out. A big bit of cheese, that. Bye. <laughs> oh. Right, so that's pretty much me sorted now. I've eaten, it was nice cooking to a pretty beautiful sunset. I'm just gonna finish the beer, wait for the light to fade and then retreat to the cave behind me. And we've only got a roll mat, so all I've got to do is lay that out and get my sleeping bag. And that's me for the night. And uh, yeah, otherwise I'll probably see you again in the morning. Cheers. Pretty cool view actually. It's like having a little TV screen at your feet. Every now and then a bat keeps coming around as well. I woke with the sea at my feet, but thankfully still dry, and we gazed in awe from our cave. The sea was still and perfectly flat, reflecting the morning sky's beautiful colour. Feeling grateful for our short lives on this beautiful world, we watched the sun rise and what a sunrise it was.
All right, good morning. Um, I'd be lying if I said I had a really good night's sleep. <laughs> Probably got a solid two hours. <laughs> no, possibly three. But Indy didn't settle very well last night. It doesn't really get dark at the moment. There's a lot of noises going on. Um, so yeah, it wasn't the best night's sleep. But I've just got up now, made myself a cup of coffee. Uh, it was a really beautiful sunrise this morning. I'm just gonna sit here, drink uh, my coffee, and look out, uh, yeah. I'll take my time this morning. And um, I did. I was going to make myself a sausage, a sausage sandwich this morning, um, but my bread rolls looking a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> uh, got a bit squashed in my backpack, and I'm not that hungry anyway. And of course now the tide has gone out again, so um, yeah, I can head off fairly soon. <laughs> It was time to go, and I left my squashed bread roll on a rock as rent for the goals. Indy had rolled in just about every stinky and rotten thing on the beach, so I was grateful that I had a cold and had lost my sense of smell. But I reckon he helped keep the spirits away. He helps me, and I help him. I hadn't really had much sleep, but I felt good inside, charged almost by the sun's rays and the fresh air. Besides, I'd be home in an hour, the wife was at work, and I could sleep all day. Get it.